What is up everyone, but before we get started with today's video, a word from our sponsor, and that would be Ragnarok Labyrinth. Ragnarok Labyrinth is a fast-moving MMORPG game that has over 100 million players worldwide and is a free, easy-to-play game with simple controls. Graphics-wise, it's very iconic with costumes and gear design. Also, it has very beautiful-looking skill effects that you would definitely want to keep using multiple times on your journey. The game features a variety of upgrade systems such as jobs, gears, cards, skills that you can choose to make your heroes and and creating your very own heroes is entirely up to your own taste and how you want to do things. The game also has battle modes and dungeons available for you to participate in and battle against monsters with your friends and go solo if you wish to do so to level up your characters. You can also conquer boss raids while exploring dungeons and various PvP modes through brawls, duet battles, PvP league battles, defeat multiple monsters through numerous stages of Ragnarok and call your friends to make things even more fun to battle together. So what are you waiting for? Download Ragnarok Labyrinth for free right now! Link is in the description below and also pin in the comments. There is really nothing more exciting than having a character who is so strong right off the bat just to show how amazing they really are and what they are truly capable of. Surprisingly, a lot of people really prefer characters that way as instead of them being a complete mystery to find out more of that character, showing all they got somewhere at the very start is more of a badass way of showcasing that character's true powers and it gives them actually a greater reputation of being more liked since they are strong than most of the cast of the series. If you do enjoy today's video, I like you guys to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and for us together to reach the next milestone. Without keeping you guys waiting, let us get started with the video. The real deal assassin of the world with no regard to human life whatsoever. This right here is a series that will show you what a real badass main character is made of. Instead of being a hitman all his life, he decides to become a bounty hunter, which to be honest sounds way cooler than a hitman in my opinion. Let me also mention that there will be tons of gunfighting crime action, but the thing is, not many people know about this series since it aired back in 2005. But it's a hidden gem you can't possibly miss out on. <laughs> Monke, Seven Ghosts is not about ghosts at all, so don't be fooled by the title, but hey, at least it sounds pretty cool though. The series aired back in 2009, and I'd say it's one of people's most liked series from Studio Dean, who are the creators of the series. The anime has a lot of great moments, ranging from battling demons through action sequences, while having the military aspect attached to it. If that's not enough, then why not throw in a bit of magic in there and show some characters cast powerful spells enough to destroy enemies in their way. The series does a great job in showcasing the characters, as a lot of them look well defined and introduced throughout this series, and it's something I'm sure a lot of you guys would really enjoy. If there is one thing I liked about Seven Ghosts, then it would have to be the story since it quite felt rich and unique from a lot of the series out there. My <laughs> The red-headed tacky fighter named Adelet claims to be the strongest man in the world and enters the tournament without signing up, which is something that requires a lot of balls to do so. All those strong elite looking warriors take a glance and question who the hell is this guy and what is he doing here? Adelet doesn't need powers or anything as he uses his arsenal of weaponry and his brain power to work his way around and beat everyone to show that he is indeed the strongest man in the world. Now! <laughs> <laughs> 
Beelzebub is a very underrated series, and I'm sure you all can agree with me on that part. It is widely regarded as a hidden gem shonen series and one of Studio Periot's best creations. The anime has a school setting as well as being hilarious in its comedy form. The main character by the name of Olga meets a little demon baby named Beelzebub who is the son of the demon lord. He grants him special powers only he can possess. Since the school is overrun by delinquents and non-stop violence, only Olga can probably put a stop to this mess as Olga is a vicious fighter that everyone knows to stay away from. So yes, he is quite feared. The series does have a feared character and overpowered at the same time from the very start, so what more could you possibly want from this series? It does have yet a simple story to follow, however, the characters themselves truly make up for that as they are what drives this series to success. <laughs> It's pretty much in the name itself. A world full of cheating during tests and exams is a better place for everyone. Nobody wants to study for some test to show how smart you are. You just need to show the badass side and use your powers to cheat during tests to get a passing grade and move on in life. That is exactly what happens in cheating craft, as it's the cheaters versus those who study hard. But let's be honest, we would rather side with the cheaters, as that is what we would want to be doing from the start. <laughs> Monster Strike is a series not many have heard of since it's somewhat of a kid's show like Pokemon or Digimon, but let's be honest, even adults do watch these series as they are simply too good to miss out on, and let me tell you that Monster Strike is also quite at a similar level. Monster Strike is a video game adaptation, however, and even though normally video game adaptations fail to an extent, this one manages to slip past the fail stage and actually be a pretty solid watch. The series features monsters from a game which means the ability to summon monsters to fight other users who can do the same, so the competition is quite heavy on that. The series will be like a tournament, as you will see many characters summon monsters to fight and prove who is the strongest user in this world and who can conquer the world of Monster Strike. Some say the series is not all that great, but trust me when I tell you this, give it a watch and see it for yourself. Goldo the God Slayer, such a catchy name that is, and a title fit for our boy, and also has the status of getting fail worshippers, which means it's harem time the animation! Oh wait, that pretty much came out wrong. Anyways, can we also agree that Italian babes like Erika are perfect waifu material? This series will include immortal affairs, heavenly harems, and lots of dueling deities between the heroes and enemies, as it's definitely a roller coaster ride full of things that you would want to watch. <laughs> Hinomaru Zumo is a sumo series based on what you just saw, but it's by far one of my favorite sports series in anime. Sports anime are actually quite underrated since not many people are into sports series these days. Aside from, let's say, Haikyuu being regarded as one of the best sports anime ever made, which I have to agree on, Hinomaru Zumo, I feel, is also a top tier sports series. It will feature a short yet determined character who is strong and underestimated from the very start due to his size and how he will enter the sumo career and 
and fight other bigger and tougher opponents. It's going to be super interesting to see how these matchups are going to turn out to be. Normally, when you don't fit to the criteria of a sport you like because you are different doesn't mean that you can't achieve what you want. It's all about proving those wrong and striving to be the very best. <laughs> I said this before and I'll definitely say it again, Jobless Reincarnation is the best isekai we had in years. Getting bullied in school and completely humiliated to where you hate yourself and become a shut-in all your life to then dying in a car accident, that is some tough shit right there. But it rewards you with being sent to another world where magic is a thing and you get yourself a really hot mom and a scummy looking dad who will cheat on with any other girl and an instructor named Roxy whom you can praise all day long with a four Holy relic! What more can I say? This is an isekai that is one of the kind. Our Last Crusade or The Rise of the New World, pretty long title, but it does sound pretty cool to begin with. This anime aired not long ago actually, back in the fall 2020 season, as it did receive a lot of mixed feelings about it and how it strongly resembles a Romeo and Juliet style. The main character Iska, who is a talented knight, and Alice who is the Ice Calamity Witch and regarded as the major enemy, they both fall in love. So you can say its enemies have become lovers, which is pretty much what the entire story is about. It's quite simple to follow, but there are some still great moments in the show such as the animation and the action which I really liked a lot. It does get slightly repetitive as a lot of the events that happen are relatively the same throughout the series such as Alice hating on Iska due to being an enemy then having second thoughts to where Alice's bodyguard keeps telling her to back out of the relationship to her having second thoughts again. It's like that but I guess you can get used to something like that quite easily but nevertheless I still hope you guys check out the series despite what I had to say on it. There you have it guys and girls, the top 10 picks for the strongest characters at the very start. What have we learned today? Well, it's simply not to mess or underestimate someone since you think you are the better one. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and drop a like if you did and I'll be seeing you in the next one.